Welcome to NBA Basketball. I'm Damon Bruce. We've got you covered here on 2K Sports. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's going to be the Indiana Pacers up against the San Antonio Spurs. And that'll do it for the studio. Let's get you out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports broadcast crew at the arena. I'll see you back here at halftime. Tuning in this Wednesday, 2K Sports presents the NBA. Kevin Hart alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Now a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. First, for the Pacers, Jackson is out there with Miller. Then it's Moe, and it's Davis at the power board. And for San Antonio. Johnson is out there with Elliott. They've got Robinson. You simply have to respect the tremendous skill he has down low. The work ethic and a play could only make a big impact under the boards. That's Elliott. And it's Duncan in at the four. The Spurs have always been very mindful of resting key players during the regular season. Some of it has to do with age of their players. Some of it is regarding talent because they knew they were a playoff team most years. And look at the research. There is something to be said for not playing guys when they're fatigued because injuries are more likely if you play tired. So Indiana wins the tip. Number 45, guarded by Robinson. And he gets it to Gasol as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And back to the Spurs and their strategy of resting their star players, not without some controversy. The NBA, as you may recall, fined the Spurs and Coach Popovich for sitting all their starting players for a nationally televised game back in November. Well, it was their fourth game in five nights, and Pop wanted to rest some of their guys because of just the, the nature of their schedule. But I think the, the problem was he didn't give the league advance warning. And that game against Miami, when he rested those three players, he actually sent them home. And I think that was a little shot at the league. And that's why there was a problem, and that's why the Spurs and Popovich ended up getting fined. Now here's Johnson. He passes to Duncan. Well, Kevin, when he's got the ball down in the low post, he has a huge variety of moves to choose from. So it's tough to defend him. He's got great footwork and finesse. Just figures out a way to get it done. And I also can't get over how much energy he expends rebounding the basketball. He goes all out on the boards every single night. And that one misses. One thing that always translates from team to team is defense. No matter who you play, if you can challenge shots and bother shooters and play together, um, you'll win. And that's why the Pacers had so much success against Western teams last year. He hits the second from the line. On defense, San Antonio. And Doris Burke caught up with Coach Greg Popovich. Doris? Well, Kevin, he said that they didn't want to take what the defense gave them tonight, saying we need to play our game. I told my guys to go right with their defenders and make plays happen. If we sit back and don't be the more aggressive team, we'll just be digging a hole for ourselves. It sounds like they have confidence in their ability to score, guys. Okay, Doris, thanks. And it seems that the offensive game plan will be the key for them tonight, guys. Well, I'm sure they feel if they can execute their offense effectively, they'll be the ones controlling this game from start to finish. And they have a good reason to feel that way, Steve. Offensively, they are a well-oiled machine when it's working. Here's Johnson after the main shot for Miller. And over the last decade or so, it's usually been the Western teams getting the better of the Eastern teams more often than not. But the Pacers are able to be the exception because of their defense as you were talking about. Yeah, if you can defend and rebound, you can beat anyone at any time on anybody's floor. And I think the Pacers were able to do that last year, 18-12 and 12 against the West. And that only trailed Miami as far as Eastern Conference teams and their success against the West. Now Jackson after the miss three for Miller. Miller with another miss. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag 
Elliott kicks to Duncan. Passes it to Elliott. Here's the dish to Johnson. Five to shoot. On the pass to Robinson. Davis is up. And so he has a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, I tell you what, the Pacers did a lot of good things last year. Defended well, protected the rim and their home court. Um, really, the one area for improvement is probably the road record. They could get better in that area. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Clark, as you said, the Pacers didn't play as well as they had hoped to on the road for a team that won the division. They were 19 and 21 away from Indianapolis, and Steve, not the kind of record they wanted to end with. No, but if you're around 500 uh, and and you then you can control your home court, you're going to have a good season, and that's exactly what Indiana did. They ended up uh, with the third seed in the East, and uh, all in all, a, a terrific year. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And as you might expect for the team with the second best record in the West, the Spurs dominated the East last season, played each team twice for a total of 30 games, and went 25-5 and five in that stretch. Using his strength nicely there to ensure the rebound. Good work. That's Durelli. Puts the lead back in front of him. Those guys that are ready for this watching go right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. And Clark, back to what you said about the Spurs and the East. It was far and away the best record against the conference, Steve, for a team in the West. Yeah, the second best record was Memphis with 22 wins. So, kind of scary to think that they rested their big stars a few times against teams in the East, and they were still able to put up that kind of a record. And Davis gets it to go. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Johnson with it. That's to Ellie. Feeds it to Robinson. And it comes off the front of the rim. Boy, for my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. I mean, he's got to make those if he's going to take his game to the next level. Jackson dishes to Davis. Lots it fly from 18. And the shot is good. Davis has got his second bucket of the game to go. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Gets it to go. <laughs> Pacers have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Now here's Jackson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. He feeds it to Davis. Lock at six. He kicks it to Miller. It's stolen. Ellie passes to Ellie. Here's Mullen. Miller kicks to Jackson. to go. Johnson with the defensive effort. San Antonio trailing here. He passes to Ellie for the three. Here's Robinson. No luck. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Jackson with it. Now guarded by Elliott. Outside Jackson. Dishes it to Miller. That's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists now in this one. And it's Johnson penetrating. Gets it to go. Johnson. Indiana's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And here's Jackson. Back to Davis. Tries from 16. And the rebound goes to Duncan. 
Coach Popovich was fine last season for sending out his top players in a nationally televised matchup against the Heat. I certainly understand the league's posture there, and it was a lot said about it. Yet, for a veteran team like the Spurs with championship aspirations, I understand resting key players during the course of the regular season. Now here's Jackson. After the miss from Elliott. Jackson kicks to Mullen. Kick it out! Kick it out! Six to shoot. Stolen by Robinson. Now Johnson. Passes to Elliott. The feed to Duncan. From down low. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And back to that fine for Popovich, a quarter of a million dollars. Steve, that'll leave a dent. <laughs> two shots. Yeah, no doubt. But, you know, Popovich enjoys tweaking the league at times. Uh, this was clearly an effort to do that. But, uh, look, I think it's it's good for him to, to actually, you know, kind of let the league know every once in a while that if you're going to give us that kind of schedule with my older team, I'm, you know, I'm going to sit them down once in a while. The Spurs making a switch here. Purdue's checked in. Second free throw, no good. And what an amazing run it was for the Spurs last year in the postseason. They swept the Lakers, survived Golden State, and then dismantled Memphis on their way to the NBA Finals. And then, of course, were seconds away from another championship banner. Well, getting back to the Spurs, they look better and better as they went deeper into the playoffs, Clark. Heat were thought to be the heavy favorites at the start of the NBA postseason. But when they met in the finals, their uh, thoughts on who would win, I think they pretty much split. Yeah, and eventually, you know, this was one heck of a series because the Spurs not only had experience and talent, but they had multiple options offensively and did such a terrific job sharing the ball. They took the Miami Heat to the limit, but at the end of the day, it came down to LeBron James and Dwayne Wade rising to the challenge. Now here's Johnson. Now the pass to Purdue. Back to Johnson. Four on the shot clock. Offensive rebound, Spurs. And that one's good. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high quality shot on the follow just like he got there. Jackson kicks to Davis. From 13, that's good. Davis has got six. Now you gotta love the footwork. How about that turnaround? Spurs trail by five. Johnson outside. Back to Duncan. Davis is on it. The eighth foot. And Duncan gets it to go on the assist by Johnson. Five points in the game. For Indiana, they've gone 7 and 12 in the field here in the first quarter. Jackson with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Here's Davis. Shot is off. Duncan with some nice deep. Spurs have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Here's Zelly. Back to Johnson. Pass to Ellie. And here's Purdue, defended by Mullen. Rolls up on the elbow. And Johnson missing again. And it's kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. Miller outside, kicks it to Jackson. Inside Davis. It's good, the assist this time from Jackson. And it's eight points for Davis. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Johnson off the pitch from Duncan. Johnson dishes to Duncan. Back to Johnson. 16 feet away, and Johnson missing again. I'll tell you what, the way he's been going this quarter, guys, they're going to need somebody else to pick up the slack. Jackson kicks to Davis. Back to Jackson. 
He dishes it to Perkins. Mullen. Well, he's got to watch himself now. I mean, that's two fouls already, and he can't afford another one. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Perkins, the pass to Miller. The dish now to Rose. Back to Miller. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Just five to shoot. And it's Rose penetrating. Nice key from Rose. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Now here's Rose. Jackson with it. And it's Miller picking him up. Pulls it up. And cut it from 19 feet away. Jackson's got his first pass. Pacers leading by three. Here's Crozier, and it's blocked by Rose. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a long time without a basket. Oh, right. Pass to Kersey. Feeds to Kerr. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Puts one up from 19. Offensive rebound. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Nice job there. Attacking the rim and drawing the contact. Yeah, I like that play there. The defense had no choice but to foul in order to save the dunk. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Indiana. Boy, they've come out of that locker room with the hot hand. Those jumpers have been falling for them. And the other thing we're seeing is great ball movement. We're seeing a lot of good offensive execution, ball movement, player movement, setting up assists. The Pacers making a switch here. Harrington's checked in. Good on the second. 152 left here in the opening quarter. Best passes to Harrington. Rose. Right side, Rose. Closure. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. And the Pacers lead by four. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside her. It's going to open things up for them on the perimeter going forward. But he feeds it to Curry. Well, outside the arc. That's good. Curry's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. And he's someone the defense has to keep track of at all times because, you know, even when he doesn't have the ball, he moves so well without it, he's constantly a threat to catch and shoot. And the consistency of his jump shot is another thing we should say about him. I mean, it doesn't matter how many defenders are flying at him, his stroke is never changing. Here is Daniels. Here is Jackson. And again, it's San Antonio with the three. Back to back threes for him. Defense is slacking off a little. It does look like their energy is lacking at this point. Right side Rose. Tries again, and it's good on the way in. That's where you like to get shots inside and close to the hoop. San Antonio's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Daniels dishes to Jackson. Tries from 16, and the Spurs scoring again. Jackson! And so here is Indiana, trailing by two. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Crozier, bangs on the trifecta. He has five. And uh, San Antonio shooting 47% from the field to start things off. Here is Daniels, defended by Bass. Throw, can't hit. From deep. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Pacers 
lead by one. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And let's quickly break down the game, guys. We have seen from Indiana. What do you think? It's pretty impressive the way they move the ball, made the extra pass, and sound open shooting that whole goal. Yeah, it's been a complete team effort out there. Um, great to watch. The Spurs shooting in this game, 45%. You know, a lot has been said about the Pacers and their defense, but in addition to them being great with their positioning and skill, they're one of the toughest and most rugged teams to deal with, both mentally and physically. They really pride themselves on playing smash-mouth basketball and don't hesitate to get into, your, get into your airspace and get in your face. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Gentlemen, last year, Greg Popovich received a quarter of a million dollar fine from the league for sitting out his starters in that game against Miami. They cracked down, but it wasn't the first time he rested his top players on a back-to-back. -back. Pop explained the philosophy this way, saying, quote, we're making a wiser decision and not a macho decision. It's about health and safety of players so that we have a shot at the end of the year. If I was taking my son or daughter to the game, I'd be disappointed. So I understand that perspective. Hopefully, they'll understand my perspective. My priority is the basketball team and what is best for it. Guys, it's always a balancing act. It certainly is. Thank you, Doris. And going back to what you said, the Pacers did get in a few games last year where tempers flared and players got in each other's faces. But, you know, Steve, you look back at all the great defensive teams in NBA history, and not a lot of them were a group of amicable guys. <laughs> it's true. But, I mean, this is a great defense, and sometimes you have to ruffle feathers and get in people's faces uh, in terms of being tough and gritty defensively. And I think the Pacers understood that. Here's Daniels after the made shot from Rhodes. And that will be San Antonio as it goes out of bounds. Spurs and just vision. Now that pass had just a little bit too much heat on it for him to make a clean steal. Yeah, I think it would have been a tough catch for either of them. Miller's checked in for the Pacers. The drive by Jackson. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Spurs last year were as tough as always in San Antonio. Hard not to beat when you win 50 games every season. Ended up with a 35-6 record at home, which was good for the third best in the league. And that one falls for Jackson. And with the Spurs, they are just so consistent. Every time they take the court, you always, Steve, expect them to get a win when they play in this building. And the two teams with better home records in the NBA were the Nuggets and the Heat, both of whom had huge win streaks. But as you said, it's the Spurs' consistency every time out uh, that lets them pile up these home wins without anyone really thinking much about it. Pacers leading by three. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Miller kicks to Rose. Rebounded by Daniels. Spurs shooting 41% for the game. Good pass it to Kersey. Nice ball from the by San Antonio. Jackson passes to Rose. <laughs> I think it's emergency from the man. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. And so here is Indiana. Miller, the pass to best. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Miller. Launches a three. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. The Pacers making a change here. Number 45. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Come on, back to now, He kicks to Davis. 
and the Pacers can't get it to go. The Spurs have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here's Daniels. He's covered by Rhodes. Jackson misses. That's one he knows he should have made. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And Miller backs down. Unloads from 13. Nice jump shot. Good. Miller's got six points. He presents a defender with a serious challenge. Always. And here's Daniels. Duncan, who's guarded by Davis. Outside Jackson. And stolen by Miller. It's the lead pass. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them. And free throws are better than the layup. The Pacers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. The first one falls. Both free throws good from best. Boy, that was solid. I tell you, he's one of the best there is up there at the foul line. Spurs trail by five. Kerr kicks to Jackson. Back to Kerr. Outside Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Duncan high post. This is the game. And he makes good on his first shot of the game. Well, the bounce pass was the key to the play. Pacers leading by three. There's the feed to Rose. Indiana again, missing. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Daniels, no good. That was a layup. I mean, you've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. Rose attacking. Puts up a three. There's the bucket. Good. Rose has got five points now in the quarter. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Right side, Jackson. Robinson sets a screen for Jackson. Jumper off the screen. Now, here is Miller. He has six. Left side, Rose. Left side, Rose. Davis. It's good. This time, the assist from Rose. And now, an eight-point pacer lead. They've been looking at a sink offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. San Antonio making a switch here. Defense is right there. Unloads from 13. Robinson gets good. Robinson's got eight. Pacers leading by six. So timeout call here, the first four in the end. So he wants to get everybody on the same wavelength, that's for sure. He may change up some things here as well. It looks to me like he saw something that wasn't on the plan. I think now is the time to address it. I don't have a problem. Passes it to Miller. Defended by Kirk. Shoots from 14. Misses off the left eye. 
you just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Johnson outside. Johnson off the bench from Duncan. Johnson dishes to Duncan. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Now just a four-point pace for lead. The mid-range jumper becomes a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. Back to Rose. It's Miller on the wing. The pass to Rose. With the lead pass. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Six points for Davis. He's making it look easy scoring out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. Now Johnson. Pass to Kerr. Back to Johnson. Kicks it to Robinson. And the layup is good. Robinson's got 10. It was a slow start for him, but he started to take off since we hit the second quarter, guys. Indiana had perhaps the toughest defense in the league on them. They just didn't have any weaknesses defensively. If you attacked them inside, they were able to challenge you at the rim. If you tried to shoot over them, they were challenging you with their length on the perimeter. And they didn't back down. So it's not a surprise they were near the top in every defensive category. Now here's Johnson after the miss for Miller. Johnson outside. He dishes it to Robinson. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And Clark, the numbers back up what you were saying about the Pacers. A lot of stat heads will look at opponents' effective field goal percentage as a measuring stick for defense. And the Pacers, Steve, were the best in the league at that. Well, they, they passed the eye test, that's for sure, Kevin. I mean, they challenge every shot. They get out to the three-point line. Uh, they block shots at the rim. And there's a reason this team was so good at the defensive end. Here in the second quarter, they've made all of their shots from the foul line. And that's a must-do when you're down. Mullins checked in for Rose. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Rebounds are split just about down the middle in this game, Clark. I'd venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. Miller, guarded by Elliott. That's the best. And the best is good. And the Pacers lead by five. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Robinson a screen on Miller. Kelly passes to Robinson. Johnson off the bench from Robinson. Johnson gets to Robinson. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Just absolute domination in this one for Robinson. He has 11 points. And he's added a steal to his stat line also. Now that's obviously not a big number, but you know, he's been doing some valuable defensive work for him. No good on that. And Indiana making a change here. And he sinks the second. Pacers leading by four. Outside Jackson, Davis. Outside Jackson, the dish to Mullen. And it's wide right, it's off the rim. Well, as far as jump shots go, that's as high percentage as it gets. I'm not sure how that didn't go down. Johnson gets to Robinson. And the paint, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Pacers will take it. Davis has checked in for Indiana. Davis. And so here is Indiana. 
They lead by four. Jackson with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Jackson kicks to Mullen. It's Miller on the wing. Looking to get it going. Here's Davis. Oh, there's the one-handed jam. Well, the grimace of pain tells it all. He's hurt, and let's hope he's okay. Yeah, and as many times as you see it, Clark, you never like to see a player have to come out of the game with an injury, especially when it's your own teammate. But the other guys just have to step up in the meantime to make up for his absence. Next guy up is what we say. Spurs are gone. 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Johnson with it. This is a duelli. Duncan with a screen on Mullen. Here is Elliott. Shot clock at six. Plays it up and dunks it in. Here's Jackson. Looking for his first basket still in this one. He passes it to best. That's foul number two. I might not warrant sitting in entirely, but uh, you know, another one before halftime, they could they could be in some trouble. Purdue is checked in for Duncan. against Davis. Jackson drives in. Six on the shot clock. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Jackson. So Jackson nails both of them. Another trip to the strike form, and I tell you what, a little bit of a different feel here in the second quarter. A little more banging going on. This team is never afraid to get physical. I think they enjoy this style of play. Now here's Rose. Elliott. It's rebounded by Best. Feeds it to Jackson. There's the pass to Best. to Jackson and Lota Davis stolen here's Elliott outside Rose it's stolen by Mullen the second chance effort He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Two shots. First free throw is good. Perkins is checked in for Davis. them both. Spurs trail by eight. Pass to Ellen. 132 left in the first half. Johnson, the pass to Ellie. Purdue. Six to shoot. Trying his luck deep. They get a pass. Now he kicks to Rose. 
Lots of goals from the baseline and wins it. They're going to take tough outside shots. They're better off just firing from the three point line. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, if you're going to be back there near the three point line, you might as well take the three. Just step back and uh, knock it down. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And that's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. Purdue with the screen on Mullen. Johnson outside. Pass to Elliott. The finger will finish up the puck. And now just a four-point pacer lead. Broke out the finger roll, guys. That was kind of a stylish finish. Back to Davis. Working on Rose. The jump hook. Indeed. Davis drops it in. Davis has got 10 points in the game. The defense played way too soft there, guys. He's just getting right to the rim. Johnson outside. Pass to Elliott. Defended by Mullen. Here's Jackson. Dedicated Spurs team is weathering the storm. Defensive pressure so far paying off. They're forcing miscues, ripping and running. And that's all there is for me here in the studio. Time to send you back to my friend Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And a view here of the beautiful San Antonio Riverwalk as we welcome you back to the game. So far, we're seeing a tremendous game from Robinson. I loved his approach, guys. He came out aggressively, took the ball into the teeth of the defense, and either got points at the rim or drew fouls. Most of the time, he's been drawing fouls. He has the free throw total to show for it, as well as a few nicks and bruises. The pass to Elliott. He feeds it to Duncan. He kicks it to Johnson. Pass to Ellie. Shot clock at five. Back to Johnson. And it's San Antonio with another. Johnson! And here's Jackson. This is the moment. The feed to Davis. Kicks it to Jackson. Just five on the clock. From deep. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And that's now ten points for Davis. Nice tip then. He just seems to have a sense of where the ball can end up. Pass to Elliott. He dishes it to Duncan. He passes to Elliott. And loads for nine. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line number two. And he makes the first. Yeah. 
And both free throws good for Elliott. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Now here's Jackson. He has five. Mullen kicks to Jackson. Now the dish to Davis. And it's good. Davis has got four this quarter. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. Robinson a screen on Miller. Miller kicks to Johnson. Duncan with a screen for Johnson. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. It's his first trip Shooting to the line. San Antonio. Johnson. Two shots. Free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. Now Jackson. Five points in the game. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Passes it to Elliott. Back to Johnson. The pass to Ellie. Feeds to Johnson. Lock at six. It's rebounded by Indiana. Mullins got his third rebound tonight. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. Jackson dishes to Davis. And foul hard that time. Will get to the line and shoot two. Just a, an amazing game for Davis. 12 points, and he's getting it done on the glass, too. Now you're right, Clark. He's done Davis. some really nice work inside. The Pacers have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. seven points and of all the things about him uh, that you like offensively it's his composure that jumps out at me the way he never gets rattled the defense can get in him he doesn't care he just continues to do his thing something else i'll say is that he loves those catch and shoot situations he, when he receives the pass in space right away looking to shoot time called here the Spurs decide to talk it over and as with any timeout at this point of the game, important to go over the strategies that are working and those that are needed in terms of adjustments. And, of course, the opportunity, guys, to get hydrated with Gatorade before coming back out of the floor. We've seen some good action so far, and there's, there's more of it to come. Yeah, this game has been physical. It's been fast. It's been high-paced. So anytime you're in a situation like this where it's really a hard-fought game, it's critical to keep yourself hydrated throughout. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a tough time getting it going here. Good rebound there, but overall, they're, they're getting out on the glass. 
Steve, I think that's what you'd expect, seeing what the score is. Jackson. Shot clock at six. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Spurs trail by eight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Pastorelli. He feeds it to Robinson. And here's Johnson outside. San Antonio again missing. Tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this squad. Outside Jackson. Miller, that's for two. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got six assists now in the game. Johnson, the pass to Duncan. Here is Elliott. This guarded by Davis. Elliott gets to Robinson. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Fast break. Here they come. Jackson dishes the moment. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. And it's a 12-point Indiana lead. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. Passes to Elliott. He kicks to Duncan. Dishes it to Johnson. They need this one. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Johnson's got seven, and the Pacers call time here. Perkins is checked in for Indiana. Davis comes in for Davis. Pacers leading by 10. Now the feed to Perkins. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Here's Crozier. Knocks down the three ball. Crozier. He's got eight. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. Now here's Duncan. He's got seven. And he dunks it down. They have to get more of those the easiest two points possible. And on a fierce finish. Yeah, and that's exactly how they're going to cut into the lead, Kevin. Yeah, that's why they've got to tighten up their D. And I'd be surprised if the defense allows any more free runs to the hoop like that. And here are the Pacers now. After the basket by San Antonio. Six on the shot clock. Here's best. It's stolen by Johnson. And with that one, the lead is Trenzis into Hitchens. Johnson's got seven points for the grip. Pacers leading by nine. Frozier covered by Kirsten. Frozier and the Pacers tag on two more. For San Antonio, they've gone four of nine from the four so far in the third. Johnson goes in, kicks to Rhodes, tries from 16. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, I like the way he orchestrated in tight that time, fellas. He dishes it to Davis. Cannot hit. Duncan with some nice deep. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite find his way through track. Kersey with the ball. Duncan, the pass to Kersey. Back to Johnson. He passes to Ellie. Four on the clock. The 15 footer. They get the rebound. Rose, that's good. Rose is that seven. That rebound and the foul kind of typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play.
tries from seven. And that one hits back iron. This is why you need size inside, the ability to contest shots and force misses. Steve, that's exactly right. Even when you get in close, it's still a tough shot. Now here's Johnson. Nine points in the game so far. And it's Rose missing. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick, just couldn't get the shot to go. Oh, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. Spurs guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Pacers? Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. And then how about the scoring they've gotten down on the post, really dominating that lane area? He's off on the first. The Pacers making a switch here. Second free throw. Spurs trail by eight. Here's Jackson. The dish to Robinson. Johnson. Outside Jackson. Shoots the three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Best is guarded by Johnson. Perkins, the pass to Best. And there's the pass to Muller. Fires for three. Gets the bucket. Mullen's got 12 in the game. Unbelievable shot. He can't miss out there. And he knows it. He's got major swagger going on out there now. Time call here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. The Spurs making a switch here. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. The Pacers making a switch here. Miller's checked in. Pacers leading by 11. Outside Jackson. Feeds it to Davis. Back to Jackson. Pass to Davis. The nine foot shot. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He worked himself into a really good position there, right near the basket. That's the look you want. Only at the bucket. Yeah, he's a bomber. I mean, that's what I love about him. He's as good a three-point shooter as you'll see. And of course, has the green light to let it fly anytime he wants. And offensively, you'll find him often lurking on those corners. Always a high percentage shot among three-pointers, and especially for him. Spurs trail by nine. To the middle. Daniels. And it's blocked. Outside Jackson. Pass to Mullen. Right side Mullen. Miller. He's covered by Daniels. Who's blocking him? Five on the clock. Here's Jackson on the mark at the 15 footer. Jackson's got seven points. For San Antonio, they've gone seven for 16 the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50%. Daniels kicks to Robinson. He feeds it to Daniels. Back to Robinson. And Indiana making a change here. Davis. Mm 
Jackson, seven points in the game. Passes it to Davis. Mullen. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Fader on the way. It's rebounded by Daniels. Spurs trail by 11. There's 37 seconds left in the third. Here's Duncan, and Davis sends it back. And it's Miller penetrating. No good. Great D that time from Elliott. Been a poor shooting performance for him today, but luckily for them, a lot of his teammates have come through. Jackson dishes to Daniels. Duncan. Here's Robinson. So it's a good thing he doesn't have to go too far to get to the rim. I'm not sure he could, uh, or any of us, could slip a piece of paper under him when he takes off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't matter much, though, Kevin, because he's such a big man. And if he gets positioned, forget about it. Here's Miller. The third quarter comes to a close. Pacers lead by nine. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Pacers leading by nine. Jackson a screen on Robinson. And Miller backs down. The high post shot. And that one is good. Miller's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Pacers. And uh, San Antonio shooting reasonably well, 45%. Duncan with a screen for Johnson. Back to Duncan. Size discrepancy there between the defender and the shooter. Well, those are warm up jumpers when there's not a hand in his face. He'll knock those down all day. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. Miller kicks to Jackson. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Down low. Number 45. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. And good on the second, so he makes them both. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Duncan with a screen on Jackson. Johnson, the pass to Duncan. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, take a look at the numbers for Duncan. He has nine rebounds and one assist. At the line for two.
That free throw good from Duncan. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. That one misses. Pacers leading by 10. Miller kicks to Rose. Rose double teamed. Miller. Dishes it to Davis. Lock at six. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Percy. And uh, San Antonio should be pretty well at 46% from the floor. Back to Johnson. And that one's good. Got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. Indiana has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight and nailed five of them. Now here's Jackson. Davis up top. Back to Jackson. Just four to shoot. And here's Rose outside. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Spurs trail by eight. Johnson, the pass to Kersey. He kicks it to Kirk. Nice ball from the by San Antonio. Robinson. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Leads him in there. And it's Miller with the jam. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Assist Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. Robinson. That's in there. Jackson with the assist. Jackson's got five assists in the game. You know, when he gets the ball that close to the basket, it's almost an automatic two points. Well, the defense has to battle him down there and keep him out of position in the first place. Do your work early. Timeout call to Pacers. Let's get this update now from Doris Burke as it comes to way on the sideline. Kevin, the head coach for the Pacers had some instruction for his guys during that break. He laid one thing out there for them, saying, now is the time to eliminate any chance of a mistake. We've got a good lead. Don't take any unnecessary risks or commit a silly foul. Smart basketball from here on out. Now here's Jackson. Right side rolls. Number 45, guarded by Robinson. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Now Johnson. He passes it to Ellie. Back to Johnson. Outside Robinson. Rebounded by Jackson. Pacers leading by 10. Jackson a screen on Robinson to the paint. Here's Rose. That's in coming off an assist from Miller. And that's now seven points for Rose. That is a terrific effort on the shot. He's giving up a lot of size, but still finds a way to score. I don't think that affected him in the least, though, Steve. I mean, he made it look like he was the bigger guy. Only against Miller. Now he kicks to Johnson. The feed to Robinson. Pacers pull it in. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. 
It's Jackson with the drive. And out of bounds is San Antonio gains possession. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a that's a that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. Johnson outside. Kicks to Duncan. Great D that time from Davis. Pacers leading by 12. Jackson with it. Now guarded by Ellie. Jackson dishes to Miller. Outside Rose. Shot clock at five. Miller. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Here is Elliott. Guarded by Jackson. Here's Robinson. Great D that time from Davis. He's been wayward and just off on it. About everything he's put up in this period. Rejected by Elliott. On the wing, Johnson. Covered by Miller. Johnson, the pass to Robinson. Elliott kicks to Johnson. Johnson off the pitch from Robinson. Looking to end the drive. And that is good. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens. Especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. Indiana leading. Inside. That's good for Miller. The assist by Jackson. Jackson's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Johnson with it. He dishes it to Duncan. Duncan left side. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five will put him in a rough, tough spot. Second team foul. Kelly with his screen on Rose. It's going to be out of bounds. The Pacers will take it. Mullins check in for Indiana. Chris Mullins. Indiana leading by 11. And they're one away now from being in the penalty. Yeah, you know, now's not the time to be careless. The next one sends them to the line. And here's Jackson. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. Johnson, pass to Elliott. The dish to Duncan. And fouls called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Shooting from San Antonio. Elliott. Two shots. Throw drops for Elliott. Yeah. 
And both free throws, good for Elliot. Now Jackson. Right side, Jackson. Feeds it to Miller for three. Miller with another miss. Spurs trail by nine. Johnson outside. Pass to Ellis. Six on the shot clock. Again, off the mark by San Antonio. Pacers leading by nine. Here's Mullen. And lots of the tank there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. In a solid outing for Mullen. He has 12 points, and from long range, he's hit one three points. Yeah, and you'd expect by the end of this game, I, I'm sure the numbers are going to look even better. for Mullen. And Mullen drops them both. Spurs trail by 11. Johnson outside. Back to Robinson. That's in for the assist from Johnson. Johnson's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Here is Miller. Jackson with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Here's Miller. Back to Jackson. Just five to shoot. Indiana needs to get a shot off. That shot wide open. And the Pacers lead by 11. So it's the Spurs now. Passes it to Ellie. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got eight rebounds in this game. Miller with the ball. Now defended by Ellie. Outside Jackson, he feeds it to Davis. Thank in off the glass. Time called here as the Spurs decide to talk it over. They're committing an awful lot of fouls, and most of them are unproductive. You don't want to let guys get easy layup, I understand that. But this could turn into a parade to the foul line. Johnson the pass to Ellie dishes it to Duncan so he gets the whistle contact on the way up and two shots coming up you know even from here you can see that one pretty clearly yep pretty obvious and a good call by the official The first free throw is good. And so Duncan hits him both. Perhaps that'll be the start of a turnaround because he's been ice cold from the line all game long. Jackson with it. And here's Miller. Back to Jackson. Indiana moving it around. On the wing, Mullen. Covered by Elliott. Shot clock at six. Mullen shot is off. Spurs trail by 11. 
Now here's Johnson. He kicks to Duncan. Back to Johnson. He passes to Ellie. Pass to Elliott. And D. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Pacers leading by 11. There's a minute 40 left to play here in the fourth. Now Miller. Down to five on the shot clock. Tries from seven. It's stolen by Duncan. Ten left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Duncan. Good on the shot. He shows the way to see the wings. Duncan's got nine points now in just the second half. One or three left in the fourth quarter. Miller kicks to Jackson. The feed now to Davis. Like at six. Jackson. Robinson with the ball. But they get it down. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. So Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. choice there, partner. Going hard to the hoop for that throwdown. Yeah, that's invisible defense leading to a very visible finish. Perkins, he's guarded by Purdue. Now, here's Mullen. T right on him. Shot to end this cold run, and the layup is up and in. And the Pacers lead by nine. This game's over, guys. I think we can say that with certainty. Yeah, I agree with you there. We have officially reached garbage time. Kick it out, kick it out. Launches it. And there's Daniel. That's good. And this is by Pussy. friends. 